Good day, guys. It's Kane from Kane's Trains here. I'd like to start off today's video by saying thank you for a whopping 1,000 subscribers. I can't believe you guys helped me get there and I couldn't be more appreciative. Today, we are looking at the National Railway Museum in Port Adelaide, South Australia. Now, this place is absolutely massive. In the next shot here, I'm gonna show you the four main display areas. At the center of the screen, we see the main pavilion, which houses the break of gauge platform, followed up by the outside areas at front and the center. We also have the original port dock station goods shed, which houses a large collection of passenger and freight stock, as well as the Commonwealth Railways Pavilion at the rear, which at present holds locomotive 900. Across these four areas, we cover three different gauges from South Australia, broad, standard, and narrow. Now, let's have a look inside the main pavilion. In here, you'll find broad, standard, and narrow gauge rolling stock and locomotives from the South Australian Railways, as well as the Commonwealth Railways. A highlight personally for myself in here are the web caboose and locomotive 504 of the South Australian Railways 500 class. Alongside many of the displays located within are informative little boards providing educational bits of information about the locomotives and rolling stock. There are also many ways to stay entertained throughout the museum, such as this interactive display here, showing you how to change a signal. To the right, you'll notice locomotive 624, whose sister locomotive 621 is at the Steam Ranger Heritage Railway. Within the museum, you'll recognize carriages from iconic trains such as the Overland, which for over 100 years has been running between Adelaide and Melbourne, as well as carriages from the tea and sugar train, which once provided essential goods and services to people living in remote areas of the country. Also located within inside the main pavilion is a recreation of a break of gauge platform, a location where two or more railway gauges met there was once many of these located across the country. At this one, we see broad gauge locomotive 702 alongside narrow gauge locomotive 409. The main pavilion also houses exhibits, such as a history of safe working. As well as a very large and impressive model railway that showcases many little details of South Australian railways. Also located within the main pavilion is a rather simple but fun train simulator. As can be seen here, it's a simple operation, any child can use it, but it does provide a little bit of joy for a few minutes. Scattered around the main pavilion in various places, are signs, plates and photos related to the railways of South Australia. Moving on from the main pavilion, we now find ourselves in the Commonwealth Railways Pavilion with locomotive 900 named Lady Norrie. Inside this pavilion there is some broad gauge but it's mostly items on standard and narrow gauge from the Commonwealth Railways as well as the Silverton Tramways and some industrial railways. In the outside area, you can even find jumbo rail cars, a relatively recent addition to the museum, still in their Adelaide Metro livery, as well as two operational English electric locomotives that are used for shunting the standard and broad gauge around the museum. Located in this outside area is also South Australian Railways locomotive 752, which was once Victorian Railways locomotive N477 and is also my favourite locomotive in the collection. Located within the original Port Dock goods shed are many items that have once been used by railway maintenance crew, as well as the very impressive South Australian Railways 520 class locomotive number 523. 
Now speaking of impressive, the original wood framework for this building is absolutely phenomenal to look at and if you're not careful you'll get lost staring into it. The museum also is working on a narrow gauge station area located right next to their steam shed where they maintain locomotives for their 18 inch gauge railway and hopefully will return their narrow gauge locomotive perron to service. Now, speaking of the museum's 18 inch gauge railway, here is locomotive number seven, delightfully named Ken. This 18 inch gauge railway does a full loop of the museum and runs every day the museum is open unless otherwise specified. Tickets to ride the train come free with admission to the museum, so you can do as many laps as you want. To board the train, all one has to do is go to Callington Station and line up. Seating is, however, on a first-in, best-dressed basis. In the outside front area, is a two-foot cane train, as well as several items of freight stock and a couple of diesel locomotives. The museum also has the cafeteria car from the Adelaide Railway Station. This can be hired for parties, small gatherings and other social events. Now, for the most part, that is the National Railway Museum. But on purpose, I have left a lot of things out because I would love nothing more than for you to go there and be surprised by them yourself. But in this clip here, we're having a quick fly along Jacket's Siding, a place the museum typically uses to run its broad gauge locomotives and rail cars, including the Red Hens, Bluebird, and in this next clip here, Locomotive 801. particular bit at the end of the video for a very good reason. At the time of making this video, Jacket Siding has well and truly been farewelled. So if the reality does come true and Adelaide Metro builds its new Port Dock station, then this portion of the video can serve as a reminder of what once was. But if that doesn't come to fruition, then this portion of the video shows you what to expect on a train ride from Jackets to the end of the museum's small branch line off the Adelaide Metro broad gauge. In any case, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and do comment below your favourite locomotive at the National Railway Museum Port Adelaide. And if you haven't been there yet, I'd highly recommend a visit. In the description will be information on the Port Dock Museum and information on Adelaide Metro's plans for Jackets Station. Thank you very much for watching, and once again, thank you for 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate it more than you could ever know.